Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! And then there was old Cappy. Doing his best Morgan Freeman impersonation. It would probably be cool if we had Morgan Freeman do celebrity guest asshole consultant. Boy, what is wrong with you? Good morning, Aaron. I'm an Army veteran, and this email will be a video request. Military people, get a discount. <clears throat> I'm a licensed civil engineer uh, in Colorado, and for the past five years I've been working as a specific type of engineer with a salary of $120,000. My question is in regards to the saying, as California goes, so goes the nation, which I think will impact uh, a certain type of civil license. Oh, practicing engineer, PE, practicing engineer, civil licenses of the future. About 20 years ago, California passed laws where, where certain structures, such as tall buildings, fire stations, schools, universities, and hospitals require SE, structural engineer, license approval for design. Recently, other states such as Hawaii, Nevada, Illinois, Utah, and Washington follow California's example passed some more laws requiring SE license for structural design. Uh, an SE exam is an additional 16-hour exam to be taken after passing the PE exam. And this is the only way to obtain an SE license. The pass rate for this exam is about 16% and requires roughly about 800 hours of study time to pass. My work does not require SE licenses. We design other things. However, this could change in the future. I could not find any information online to see if there's a financial advantage to obtaining an SC license. What is your opinion about other states passing similar laws, Colorado, Texas, Florida? I think it's stupid. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, I wrote a post called like the optimal level of laws. Like there is an optimal level of laws or regulation. Where if you don't have enough, too much crime and crap get in the way. If you got too much, now you're stifling production. And we have gone way past the level of optimal number of laws. Uh, but this is, this is a mental illness. This is a problem inherent with socialist politics. And that is instead of just letting things be like, okay, I think we got it. We got it fixed. It's good to go. Leftist politicians to make it look like they're doing something um, when they shouldn't be always have to, you know, we're going to ban plastic bags. We're going to... Uh, ban plastic straws. Uh, they start becoming tyrants unconsciously because, well, they've never given a damn about the people. It's just, I gotta do something. I gotta do something because it's all about me, 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 me. And that's what you'll see leftist politi uh, politicians do in the future. You'll just, you'll be able to identify them because they're going to be walking down the street, not talking to anybody, just going, me, 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 me. Um, so, no, this is an example of that where I'm sure the Structural engineers or civil engineers have done a fine enough job making things safe, and it's just more regulation on top. So I'm against it. I'm absolutely against it. Uh, so that's my opinion on other states passing those laws. I would frankly say you get the hell out of those states and go somewhere else. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to be proactive and take the exam right away? No, I don't. Because it's not part of your requirement and uh, or your current, it's not a requirement of your current employment. You're making damn good money right now. Why Why wait 800 hours? That's a fifth of a working year. That's uh, two and a half months full-time study. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go to school ever again. I'm never taking a class ever again, unless it's of intellectual interest, and I'm not paying for it because it's free on the internet. Uh, I would postpone that till you're dead. Hopefully you never have to take that. Uh, and me personally, I'd move to a different state. And if my employer can go, oh, you're going to, I'm like, well, you're going to pay me for that. I'm not taking two and a half months of study bullshit. Um, so I would, I would postpone it, you know, worry about it when you get to that bridge. Because, you know, what happens? You go waste all that time and then, then the state doesn't require it. Well, you wasted a lot of time. Wasted a lot of time. Do you see any financial advantage in the future? Well, yeah, if they, if, by, if they pass a law requiring it, yes, I see financial advantage in the future. You keeping your job, but I don't, if, if you, what was it? You said you looked into it and you didn't see any upside? Well, I wouldn't bother with it for now. Uh, since the pass rate is so low, do you think the SE licensed engineers can demand larger pay in the future? Well, it, it's not, look, 
it's not required now, so no one's getting it, unless you have to be in California. And it's just to keep your job, right? To be qualified for the job. So you'll get a hiring advantage. Uh, and in that sense, you do have a financial advantage over people who aren't qualified to even apply for the job by law. They can't apply for the job. I mean, they can apply, but they won't get hired by law. So there's a financial advantage there, but it's not going to give you an additional advantage right now. I mean, how many times have you seen SE license preferred? Has, has that ever popped up in any job you've searched right now? And are you even looking for a job right now? I mean, wait, wait, just wait. This life is too short to be stuck in a classroom. Ask any American person who graduated from high school and college where all their time was basically being kept slaves so the worthless, most verminous, parasitic scum of the world, American teachers, uh, could make their fucking money. Um, you know, ask them how fun it was sitting in a prison, acting like you were getting educated. Since the pass rate is so low, do you think the SE licensed engineer can demand larger pay in the future? I mean, it, it might come like, let's say they all pass it. Every state now requires it. And you go and you get it. Okay, then you can apply for the job. That's the only advantage I see. That's the only advantage. Uh, it's, it's a regulatory compliance cost is what it is. It's not going to give you a hiring advantage now unless you were to apply in California, which you don't want to look. If it gets to that point in your state, your state's already going the way of California. That's what's great about the United States. There's other states that aren't socialist shitholes, aren't overregulated crap holes where half your money is spent on rent and taxes. Uh, I really, I would, I mean, if it starts to be, because then what's next? You know, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop, dude. They're going to keep coming up with new licenses, new, because safety, you can't put a price on safety. And then all the engineers will get the hell out of Dodge. And there's a shortage. We need H-1B visa people to come in because no Americans will take the job. It's like, well, maybe America's got, you know, self-respect. I don't know. Please let me know. Bada, bada, ba, bada, bada, ba. We'll keep your name anonymous because we don't want you getting in trouble. Uh, yeah, man, I wouldn't do it. No. Two and a half months. Go have fun. Go, go enjoy life. Um, and I, you know, pay attention to industry news. See if that's going to pass in Colorado or not. But I'd maybe start researching Texas, start re researching Arizona, research Utah, research uh, New Mexico, research some other place, that, you know, Idaho, Montana. Um, they need civil engineers. And I'd go there. You know, what? Fuck this bullshit. Dude. Fuck you. You're going to make it this hard to find a job and go I mean, I even saw an article now the Democrats want to make the national uh, minimum wage $15 an hour. Go right ahead. Hurt the poor, man. <laughs> ignore, ignore real world economics. Just, just arbitrarily determine minimum wages. There's gonna be a lot of kiosks, a lot of kiosks, a lot of unemployed minorities whose only chance was to maybe go get a minimum wage job and go work, but now they're gonna be replaced by kiosks. Good going, Democrats. Good going. Make it impossible for poor people to get jobs, make it impossible for hardworking people to get jobs, and make it so there's so a structural engineer shortage. That's going to be great for the infrastructure. That's going to be great. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.